Hi, this is Andy Mattingly, and I'm here with this week's Save It Up Moment. And what we want to talk about is surviving Black Friday. So I have seven steps that I think you need to follow on Black Friday so to make sure that you don't have any regrets when Saturday rolls around after Black Friday. If you follow these seven steps, at least you'll know where you are and you'll have made a conscious decision to go over your budget if that's what you decide to do. So the first step, make a list of everyone that you want to buy for on Black Friday. Um, you know, family members, service professionals, office uh, co-workers, anything like that. So make a list. The second step is set a budget for each person on that list of how much you want to spend on them. The third step is then start thinking about ideas that um, fit into that budget limit. So come up with two or three things that you want to potentially buy that person that's within the budget that you've set for them. So once you've kind of got that all worked out, then the fourth step is add up all of that and make sure you're really willing to spend all of that. Because once you've got ideas and you know how much it's going to cost, um, then that fourth step is making sure that the amount that you're going to spend on Black Friday isn't more than what you want to spend. So if you've done the first four steps, you're ready for Black Friday, which is to take a list, either do it on your phone with a calculator or um, old school with a pen and a pad of paper and put in there the total amount that you want to spend. And every time you go to the cash register, subtract that amount from what you started with so you have a running total. And that allows you to keep track of how much you've spent. And that kind of gets you through steps five and six. Now, step seven is really, really important. When you get to zero, you just have to stop buying. Or you have to consciously make the decision to go beyond zero, but you still need to keep a running total so you know exactly how much you've spent. If you follow these seven steps, you won't have any regrets on Saturday because you will either spend how much money you wanted to spend or you'll know how much you went over your budget and you won't be surprised when those credit card bills or you look at your bank statements to know how much money you actually spent on Friday. If you want any more information on this topic or any other topic, make sure you visit forumcu.com and the Save It Up page.